so much for joining me i hope you guys are all doing very well shout out to the new subscribers Woo <laughs> and those of you who have been subscribed i really appreciate you guys um so yeah let's just do this so today's reading as the title says which i'm trying to remember um how invested are they in this connection okay so we have four groups for you to choose from today we have group one group two, group three, and group four. If you want to pause the video to choose your pile, feel free to do so, but I shall see you guys in your reading, okay? Hey, group one, for those of you who chose my best friend, Astro Piggy, then this is your reading, okay? I'll just leave this little guy over here so you guys can see him and yeah let's do this okay so what are we asking how invested are they in this connection okay so we're gonna look at your tarot cards first so the first card we actually do have is uh the ten of pentacles in the upright we have the seven of swords reversed we have judgment card reversed we have the Ten of Cups reversed and we have the King of Pentacles reversed. Hmm, how invested are they? Okay, the automatic message that, <laughs> I don't know if automatic is the right word to use in this situation, but the message that, you know, instantly came to my head is that there's more so focused or invested in like the longevity of this connection or the idea of this connection rather than being invested in doing the actual work at this present moment it's because i feel like this person this person either feels like they're not good enough or they feel like the foundation that you guys have maybe an emotional foundation is just not very strong right now i feel like this person is definitely feeling a bit pessimistic um, this person may feel like you have, you know, family issues or this person is kind of going through, you know, family or emotional issues. They could feel like you are going through emotional issues. But there's definitely the, this, um, you know, there's this imbalance. But I feel like this person does want to be honest with you. I feel like if you were to ask them, like, how invested are you? I feel like Ten of Pentacles will be their automatic, you know, like, automatic and initial reaction like of course i'm invested in this i'm invested in building long-term you know security um financial security for any family that you guys were to have together or you know any goals that you guys have like maybe buying a house or moving in together i feel like that th that would be this person's automatic you know reaction would be like hell yeah i'm invested in this but when you look a bit deeper i don't know it's either, I feel like there's this, this energy of this person being a little bit stagnant, you know, like, I feel like this person does want change, but are they, I don't know if they're in the energy of initiating that change, um, you know, it could be for different reasons, though, like, this person may just be a little bit distracted right now, so I'm not going to be like, yeah, this person is just, like, not interested, because I don't feel like that's the case, I do feel like this person wants to be honest with you, I feel like this person could have been, you know, hiding some things from you as well, I don't feel like it's malicious, though, I just feel like, do you know, sometimes, it, it's kind of like, if someone asks you if, if you're okay, and, like, deep down, you're not fucking okay, you know, but you say, oh, I'm fine, like, it could be one of those kind of white lies, like, I feel like, but I feel like this person wants to be more uh, honest with you, but when it comes to how invested they are, I don't know, there's just a lot of disappointment, like, this person may feel like they will disappoint you, this person may feel like, as well, that they won't be able to live up to your expectations, you know, having that king of pentacles in reverse, I'm hearing this person could be a little bit, you know, focused on their self as well, 
like this part this person is just i don't know it's like this person has a lot of potential what they may not be um acknowledging it right now or this person could see a lot of potential in you know this connection that they have with you but it's like they may not be in the right emotional space it's like this person is trying to cling to an old way of living when the universe is trying so badly <laughs> to kind of um, push them in another direction. For some of you, if it's not that this person is, um, you're know, not willing to step up when it comes to creating, you know, long term stability within this connection and creating a very firm foundation, it could be that they're overly focused on you know on their work it could be like they're overly focused on their finances as well and it could be um you know them trying to repair any uh family issues or emotional uh issues that they're going from but this person does see you like having that ten of pentacles here and even having the ten of cups here even though the ten of cups is in reverse i feel like this person like for me, the Ten of Pentacles is always so much more stable than the Cups. Like emotions change all the time. But like with Pentacles, it's earthy. It's, you know, tangible. You can hold that shit in your hand. You know, it's realistic. So I feel like in this person's head, they feel like they will end up like having the Ten here as well, which signifies completion. It's like this person sees you as their end goal. It's what this person is just not showing good judgment right now and they're so badly clinging on to an old way of life when they should probably um you know be trying something new but i do sense this person wants to be honest with you in some way though so let's look at your oracle cards the first card we have is <laughs> forgiving and learning past life relationship engagement and we also have oh, <laughs> and we also have express your love. I was like, what? This person is also being a little bit stubborn, guys. Like they really are being stubborn. Um, I, and as I was saying before, this person does want to, you know, express something to you. It could be expressing their love for you. They could want to make a romantic gesture towards you. We also have engagement. So I do feel like this person wants commitment. Like, I feel like that's how invested they are. They want commitment, but there's some fears. There's them being unable to kind of like rip themselves away from the past it could be past experiences that are kind of replaying in their mind as well this person could be you know quite controlled over themselves or like i was saying before just really stubborn but having the two tens here i do feel like this person wants you know the end game like with you guys um you guys may feel like you have a very strong connection and if you do it's because you have shared a past life with this person that's why you know being with them could feel so familiar even if um you know you really don't know this person that well but yeah they could just feel very familiar to you there could be some like i feel like this person could need to forgive it's either they need to find forgiveness in this situation that they have with you or um, forgiveness in their past situation so that they're able to move on and turn that judgment around, okay? For some of you, this person could feel like they're showing bad judgment by moving forward with you. Like I said, I feel like there are some fears that have that stem from, you know, the past for this person. And um, I feel like they could be working on releasing and healing the past so that they are able to experience, you know, you and love and this connection in the present moment, okay? <laughs> that was like a mouthful, okay? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> okay, the next card we have is a fine wine. This person, so underneath it, it actually says longing is the portal to wholeness. So this person is longing for you. <sighs> I feel, I don't know why, I feel kind of bad for this person, you know, I just, I just get like a lot of stuck energy, but like not wanting to be stuck, but also not knowing how to ask for help. I don't know why, but I'm getting like this kind of suffocated feeling, like I almost want to cry a little bit as well, but I, I'm not going to. <laughs> um, so yeah, for some of you, this person could be like really longing for you.
The next card we have is Drunk With Love. So this person does feel very uh, intoxicated. I feel like this person does love you or definitely has love for you and this connection. Uh, I feel like this person feels free when they're with you, but when they feel free and when they're consumed in you and the love and, you know, affection or whatever it is that you offer this person, they kind of get lost in it, I feel like. And that could scare them. That could make them feel, you know, ungrounded. Like, especially having that King of Pentacles um, there. <sighs> so, yeah, maybe I feel like this person is a little bit intoxicated by you. They long for you as well. This person feels very lucky to have met you. But I also feel like this person is um, trying to, like, cultivate something in their life right now. So we have bathroom. So, yeah, I feel like this person really is trying to put the past behind them. They're trying to, like, get rid of the, you know, get rid of the shit so that, oh, so that they can breathe. <laughs> I don't know, guys. <laughs> but, yeah, I do feel like this person is trying to make some emotional changes. Um... So we have progress, not perfection. So uh, so this could be quite like a slow energy. Like, I feel like this person is somewhat invested in this, but it's more so slow. It's like, it's like, I kind of want to see what happens. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to give this a chance and just hope for the best. Like, that's what I feel like. But I feel like this person is also trying to progress in their own life. And they're kind of just hoping that you kind of just accept them how they are. And it's like this person, it's like this person is very sure that they will change or that they will grow in some way. But I don't know, maybe if they're kind of hoping for someone to be patient with them. So we have revealing your true self. So yeah, this person definitely wants to, like this person with the seven of swords in reverse here, this person could have been wearing a bit of a false mask. And um, this person does want to reveal their true self to you. And they kind of just want to lead with who they actually are, you know. Okay, so now we have some messages uh, from your person. I don't know if I said this already, but this person could be trying to improve their finances. I don't know why I wouldn't have said that, but I don't know. I just had to, I don't know, guys. Anyways, let's move on. So messages from your person. The first one we have is they find your eyes and your smile to be incredibly beautiful and captivating. They love your skin. If you have been intimate with this person or if they had the opportunity to feel that sexy skin of yours, then, <laughs> then they definitely love it. They definitely miss it um i'm hearing reminiscing so they could be reminiscing about it as well this person sees you as incredibly strong okay so this could be like the completely opposite <laughs> where it's you that um is like overly focused on you know finances or you're you know super hard working and super like involved with your work um and they could see you as strong and they don't, they want you to know that you don't have to do it alone and that progress for right now is okay like perfection is perfection is awesome but progress is even better do you know what i mean and i feel like that's what this person wants to focus on moving forward this person feels like you guys will make a great team like we do have the ten of pentacles there and that is a family unit that makes shit happen they are so secure they're you know comfortable um and it's just a very strong unit like that's what it is um and that per this this person could want that with you okay this person wants to be more selfless we have here, I'm in love with someone else. I don't believe this person is in love with someone else. I believe it's something else that is um, occupying this person's attention. It could be, I don't, I don't know why, but automatically I heard child. Um, for some of you, it could be work related. Like if they are struggling financially, they could be like in this hustle, trying to like rebuild themselves. Um, some of them could be trying to find their confidence when it comes to work. So I genuinely don't believe that it's this person that's in love with this, 
is in love with someone else i definitely think it's that there's something else that they're in love with that they're trying to work on you know um we have here i want to tie you up this love is binding so this person automatically i heard like do you want to get freaky but <laughs> I mean that could be the case for some of you guys but I feel like for some of you this person kind of just feels tied to you like an like an energetic you know tie an energetic pull uh towards you so this person finds you very pure but at the same time very raw um very raw and very like imperfect but in a very perfect way you know this person it's like you could have a lot of scars like you could be a little bit rough <laughs> but this person sees beneath that and like they see like some sort of innocence or you know pureness within you guys this person feels like they will forever be affected by this connection this person is um with that blah 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 i always think like just enough talking like more action you know so this person could want less talking more action we have oh so you think i'm stupid so this person could be thinking that you're trying to fool them and finally we have you deserve better so <laughs> that's so crazy because like we have all this energy and like there was some energy at the beginning of this person just kind of not feeling good enough so that could be a reason why uh, they feel like you deserve better and um, that you're kind of playing them in some way they could feel like that but anyways group one <laughs> I don't know I was about to say group four but group one this is all I have for you I hope this made sense for you and your situations and I'm wishing you guys all the best on your journeys okay so take care of yourself bye Hi, group two for those of you who chose this here little elephant <laughs> this is your reading i'll just leave that guy over there so we're going to look at your tarot card first and we'll see how invested your person is in this connection but yeah don't try to force any messages guys you know if it resonates it resonates awesome but if it doesn't just throw it away you know Okay, so the first card we have is the Queen of Pentacles, reversed. We have the Seven of Pentacles, reversed. Oh, we have Nine of Wands, reversed. We have the Star. And we have the Six of Swords, reversed. All right, automatically, what I want to say is this person is not very invested, but they are hopeful. You know, it's like, this per is this person going to make any, like, tangible, you know, realistic, um, you know, grounded moves towards you? Um, or, you know, efforts? Uh, I don't think so. If they do, it could be very chaotic and very impulsive and impatient, um, and it could end up, you know kind of just making the, the situation even worse so for some of you having that six of swords in reverse this could be um this could be a past relationship or i'm kind of hearing like resolution so i don't know for some of you this person could want resolution but having that nine of wands in reverse it like this kind of gives me the energy of someone who feels a little bit defeated you know someone who feels like this connection isn't maybe worth the investment so yeah i feel like for some of you this person could be like in a bit of a selfish selfish energy like a bit me focused i mean i don't know this person could have good reason for doing that but i'm kind of hearing it's like certain areas of their life aren't really kind of going as expected so they kind of want to focus on the thing that they can control which is you know things that are you know material like some things that are tangible things that you can hold in your hand things that you can actually you know manifest using your own abilities or skills so i feel like that's what this person is focused on it could be it's so funny because the last pile had like a similar energy of kind of wanting to work um towards something but for some of you this person could be 
I don't know. I don't want to say doing it for the wrong reasons. Maybe like um, if they don't feel good enough about themselves, like appearance wise, they could be trying to make money to um, like, you know, to, to, to focus on their looks. I'm so sorry, my cat was distracting me for a, a hot minute there. But <clears throat> so, yeah, um, I mean, I don't feel like this person is uh, heavily invested at this moment. I feel like this person is feeling a little bit defeated, kind of feeling like um, they want to give up. But this person is so hopeful, you know, it's like, it's like this person is not making any realistic effort, like tangible, like tangible, like things you can hold in your hands. I don't know why I keep saying that, but I don't know, I keep squeezing the air like I'm grabbing boobs. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. But yes, okay. But this person is just very, very hopeful, even though they're not actually making any realistic attempts to i don't know I, everyone's situation is different but you know whatever the situation is right now i feel like this person does want to go back or they want to return so if you are separated from this person then they could like want a second chance and instead of you know kind of taking the appropriate steps to make it happen this person is just kind of wishing on a star you know i was just about to sing wishing on a star but we ain't gonna do that today <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but um but yeah this person is feeling very hopeful they see you as a wish fulfillment as well and i feel like they want to make a return they they like but i'm just like return to what you know so like if you guys are separated and they want to return to you they may want to make amends but uh like i said before it's it's purely fantasy at this point for them you know that there's not any real effort behind it you know or it could be that this person is extremely impatient and if they were like if they were to enact to actually invest in this right now it would be all over the place and it would be a bad investment it would be a waste of time because this person is not grounded right now this person doesn't feel very grounded. This person, I'm hearing this person may not feel good enough. Like this person is really beating themselves up. Uh, uh, I'm hearing for some of you, this person could like be falling back into an old pattern as well, which is like a similar message to group uh, one, but hey ho, let's move on to your oracles now, shall we? So the first card we actually have is flirt, <clears throat> we have deception, <sighs> we have also attraction, <clears throat> and we have finances and career. So this person is obviously very much attracted to you, I feel like this person dreams about you, they fantasize about you. Um, this person kind of just wants to have a light-hearted exchange uh, with you, like nothing too serious. Like I'm not saying they don't want anything serious at all, but this person is just so ungrounded that maybe they are acknowledging the fact that they can't offer anything serious at this moment. Um, so we have deception here. So for some of you, this person could be uh, wearing a false mask in some sort of aspect they could be putting on a certain front to you when realistically they're feeling another way or they're doing another thing so this person could be in a bit of a deceptive energy group two uh the attraction is there you know this person does feel you know magnetically attracted to you they feel very much sexually attracted to you as well um but yeah they could just be really focused on their finances and career right now which is definitely uh having an impact on this person's love life with you <laughs> yeah, all the oracles. so the next card we have is surrender with joy and it's kind of giving me the same energy of the star card it's like i'm not making taking any action but i will let things go with the flow like i know 
I like you, I know I want you, I know I see you as fulfillment, I know you make me really happy. For others of you, with the star card being here, this person is trying to seek healing in their life. Like, whenever I see the nine of wands in reverse, like, that shit gives me exhausted, that gives me chaotic. Imagine being exhausted and chaotic at the same time, like... It, you know so this person could be trying to find healing and maybe in order to do that they do need to return i feel like they even want to return to you they need to return to a certain uh thinking that this person had um in order for them to achieve something in uh the present you know but yeah this person is surrendering uh this connection and kind of just maybe kind of like go with the flow sort of vibe you know so we have do not be frustrated. So yeah, this person is really trying to work on not being stressed out. Uh, I feel like this could be a message to you as well, group two, uh, from, you know, your higher powers, whatever it is that you resonate with. Uh, they could be asking you not to feel frustrated, to let go, feel peaceful, and, you know, kind of just allow shit to fall into place, you know, as it needs to. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I keep cussing today. I have no idea what's going on with me guys <laughs> but anyways the next card we have is dance so yeah this person does kind of want there to be a light-hearted and playful energy but like you know shared between you guys this person does have a lot of intimate feelings towards you um i'm hearing they even miss you know being uh sexual or intimate with you or this person just really wants to freaking embrace you you know what i mean this person just or it could be that this person is working on embracing all parts of themselves so that they when they do come towards you they are grounded they aren't chaotic and they are just in a good space like spiritually mentally physically emotionally you know so yeah, I do feel like this person is working on healing. I feel like this person feels very healed when they're with you as well, group. Two. <laughs> I always pause and I'm like, group, let me think. Anyways, the next card we have is love life. So this person could want to, like, renew something between you guys. I don't know. I feel like, like, when I see star card as well, like, it makes me think of, um, you know, I don't want to say distant future it's like recent i don't want to say recent future because that's stupid as well but <laughs> but like the cl <laughs> like within the next few weeks or months okay like i'm talking i'm not talking like super long i'm talking about short-term future For, okay let's just leave it at that short-term future okay and finally finally we have sensitive emotions so yeah this person could be feeling uh, really sensitive and they could be you know taking the time out to focus on their self-care uh, that could be one of the reasons why they are being selfish i feel like i may have said that at the beginning so uh, this person could be um you know catering to yeah their self-care needs their emotional needs which could be a reason why they feel a little bit chaotic in this connection now let's look at the messages you have from this person So the first card we have is I cry sometimes. That is crazy. Weren't we just, I feel like we were just talking about that. I can't remember though. So yeah, for some of you, this person does get emotional sometimes, perhaps about this connection, or they could just be emotional in general, because it does seem like, I don't know, I'm kind of getting the energy of this shit just kind of falling apart for this person, or at least that's their perspective. So we have take the lead. So for some of you, this person could want you uh, to take the lead. Um, you know, with the Queen of Pentacles being in reverse, this could be someone also who is, you know, really, I'm hearing burned out. This person could be a little bit burned out. This person could be like overworked, like really stressed out, which may make them like a little bit mean <laughs> if this person has been mean to you. I'm not obviously I'm not saying like you know tolerate that nonsense like I'm not saying that at all you know because but yeah this person could want you to take the lead group two this person thinks you have very beautiful skin this pile is so like it's so similar to the first pile but different like energy obviously um so yeah this person could feel like your skin looks like skills 
I was going to give me as a skilk. What the hell? <laughs> Anyways, the next card we have is don't judge me. This person is hoping that you won't judge them for whatever reason. So we have your lips are so full and sexy, not to mention lickable, kissable and fuckable. Woo. No, I'm joking. So yeah, this person does have a lot of sexual feelings, a lot of sexual energy towards you. They could want to be intimate with you, like for show. Sure. <laughs> the next card we have is nothing will stand in my way. So, so like I was saying before, it's like, then th this person may not be very grounded in how they want to move forward if they were to move forward it would be very chaotic maybe that's why we have nothing will stand in my way but i feel like this person it could go either two ways it could be yeah i'm coming in hot um but like just not making the effort that needs to be made or it's like this person is kind of looking to the future and saying you know things will kind of fall into place as they need to fall into place so it's like i'm kind of getting a bit of a conflicted energy um but yeah this person is definitely determined like it could be determined towards you or it could be determined towards their goals so we have i deserve better so for some of you this person could feel like they deserve better or they could feel like you deserve better so this person is afraid of rejection as well. They're hoping that you don't reject them. This person could be feeling a little bit bitter. This person could be feeling a little bit bored as well. I feel like this person really misses you. We have don't get scared. It's about to get freaky. So for some of you, uh, yeah, this person wants to be intimate with you and I'm not going to say any more. <laughs> and finally, we have I want you to trust me enough to let your guard down around me okay uh and we have the nine of wands there which is a super guarded um energy but in the reverse it's like not guarded but very exhausted and just very defeated you know but anyways that's all i have for you group two i hope this makes sense for you and your situation and i'm wishing you all the best on your journeys okay so take care of yourself bye Hey there group 3, welcome to your reading for those of you who chose this cute little dragonfly, this is for you guys, let's leave this guy here. So how invested are they in this connection at this moment in time, you know? So we'll have a look at your tarot cards first. Ooh, this looks nice I think. Oh god, I don't know. God, I should have just kept my mouth shut. Okay. <laughs> How invested are they in this connection? Let's have a look. The first card we have is the Ace of Pentacles, which for me is always a good sign. You know, pentacles um, are very good for me, like seeing them in certain kind of readings more than cups because emotions are just so, you know, like wishy-washy, but pentacles are very stable. It's very grounded in the earth you know but anyways we have ace of pentacles we have the nine of pentacles as well hmm. okay so we have the two of pentacles reversed yeah okay see this is why i just should never get excited at the beginning of a, a reading anyways we also have the knight of wands reversed and we have the three of swords <sighs> Is he cute as a dragonfly? Is that okay? Yeah, that's all right. Okay, guys, so is this person invested in this connection? Um, what's coming to my head, I'm just going to say it pretty, like, quickly, just so I don't forget. I feel like for some of you, this person could be investing their energy into uh, a, new um, like a, a new connection or just something new. It's like they've seen something or something has come into their life where they feel like it has a lot of potential. So they could be 
um you know shifting their energy a little bit especially because we have the knight of wands in reverse like the knight of wands in reverse is a character who is you know kind of bored with his current situation this person could be feeling jealous like i feel like this person is more so invested in their own needs um in their own desires in their own wants and you know it could end up in a heartbreak i mean for some of you this person could be feeling heartbroken perhaps you're in this independent energy um or this nine of pentacles energy and you're the one that's pursuing new potential in your life it doesn't have to be another person for you or this person so i don't know I, i'm just not sure which end this energy is coming from but i do feel like this person may think, you know, things are kind of up in the air uh, with each other. I feel like either in the past or, you know, like recent past, this person felt like you were their other half. They felt like you kind of balanced them out. And right now, as it, stand, as it stands, this person, I'm hearing for some of you, this person could be afraid that you're, you know, kind of seeking um fulfillment elsewhere seek it like seeking um you know love outside of them um this person could be feeling heartbroken this person could be feeling you know cheated or betrayed or it could be you know them thinking that if they were to pursue new potential whether it be romance or money career whatever the hell it is um this person uh feels like they may break your heart so I'm just not sure which way this energy is coming from, but there is someone here, whether it's you or whether it's them, or that's in this very independent, I'm going to go do what I need to do to sort my shit out kind of energy. Like someone who is over, I'm not even going to say overly focused because it is the nine of pentacles. This is someone who's worked very hard in their lives and someone who has built themselves up to a certain level and i don't know if this is your energy i don't know if it's their energy but um so i don't know i don't really feel like this person is too invested in this connection i feel like they're more so invested in themselves uh this person could be overly busy there could be this energy of juggling so for some of you do you know i never ever like mention third party um stuff in my readings but in for, for, i don't know for this group i it, there could be some third party energy like if that two of pentacles wasn't in reverse i would not have said that but i don't know i'm just kind of getting the energy of juggling not being able to hide it anymore and like i said this juggling doesn't have to be another person <laughs> but there is definitely third party energy it's like for some of you, this person could be feeling like just not wanting to take action right now. This person could be feeling a bit like lacking a direction a bit when it comes to this connection, you know. So it's like this person is just focused on their appearance, um, their finances. Um, for some of you, this person could be feeling heartbroken, betrayed, cheated, or they can fear that you're feeling that way, you know. So let's see what messages, what oracles we have. So the first card we have is chemistry. We have retreat. We have let go of control issues. Oops. <laughs> and we have wedding. So this person may also feel like you have a lot on your plate. So maybe that's why they're kind of taking a step back. And if that is the case and they have taken a step back because you are really busy or they're really busy, they're feeling frustrated. They're feeling very frustrated. I'm hearing like a little bit pissed off. Like for some of you, this person could be a little bit pissed off at you. But yeah, there's a great amount of chemistry this person feels for you. This person does see you as someone who is extremely attractive, as someone who has a lot going for them, as someone who is able to cultivate new opportunities for yourself. Um, and I, I'm kind of hearing intimidated. Like, so if that is your energy, this person could be feeling intimidated. This person could be working on releasing their own control issues. This person could feel like you have some control issues. I mean, if that resonates, then take it. If it doesn't, then, you know, who cares? 
but yeah there is definitely like distance in this reading maybe this person is wanting to you know take a step back maybe they've already taken a step back that could be why they um they they are feeling heartbroken or they fear you are feeling heartbroken but there's definitely this energy of someone taking a step back disconnecting to focus on themselves um but this person you know like you know for, for i'm hearing ideal like you are their ideal person is what i'm hearing For some of you, if you are married to this person, then they could want to take a little bit of a break. They may be feeling or you may be feeling overly controlled in this situation. That could be why someone wants to take a break and kind of focus on their independence. We also have willpower. So this person is definitely trying to find their strength um you know so that they can live a life that is a little bit less stressful uh we also have slow down to relax so i'm hearing that this person does want to kind of like we have retreat here so i do feel like this person does want to maybe take a step back take a time out um you know kind of take a break and uh, i don't want to say like enjoy life without you but kind of just enjoy life you know uh the next card we have is guide so this person could be um you know like <laughs> if you are involved with this person you know already like if you're married or you're in a serious commitment with them then they could be feeling guided to take uh these steps uh we have baby here so this person really does want to reconnect with a simpler time they wanna um they wanna they wanna be bold, they wanna shine. It's like this person wants to step into the spot. Like I'm kinda getting I don't know why, I'm getting like recently single energy is what I'm feeling. You know, it's this person kinda wants to step out there in uh, like I'm I don't know if this person has got like a new wardrobe or something or has like invested in their clothing. But yeah, it's just like, this person is just like, let me shine. Like, I'm kind of just getting that feeling, that vibe, you know? And finally, we have deep emotional healing. So, uh, we, you know, we do have the Three of Swords, which is about heartbreak. That is, um, you know, a tragic, uh, you know, knock to your heart, you know? So I don't know if that's, you know, even if this person is taking the time out from you, it could fucking hurt them to do that, you know? Um, but at the same time, it's like this person needs to undergo this deep emotional healing or perhaps they feel like you need to undergo this deep emotional healing. <sighs> but yeah, someone here is ready to heal from the past and kind of just hearing put so, so, something behind them and kind of just focus on this Ace of Pentacles, focus on this new beginning and focus on the potential but someone here is definitely feeling overburdened, for sure, with that two of pentacles being in reverse. Feeling overburdened and kind of just... Or it could be it could be that there's responsibilities that are not being taken care of. I don't know. Let's see. So the next card we have here is I'm not sure. So this person may be showing some uncertainty in some uh, area. We have fuck me now. <laughs> so for some of you, this person is obviously, you know, sexually attracted to you. For some of you, I'm hearing they, they feel like they may want to be sexual with you, but they're like, is that a bad idea? You know, that's kind of en the energy I'm getting. We have you are hypnotizing without even trying. So this person does find you to be very hypnotizing. Uh... <laughs> Like, this person does have a lot of chemistry with you. We have, I'm so used to flying solo. I don't know, maybe this person is used to being single. Like, maybe this is someone who, um, I don't want to call them like a bachelor or a bachelorette. But maybe this is someone who's just like a single Pringle. I don't know, maybe recently single, recently divorced. But yeah, this person is used to flying solo. And maybe that 
And like with that nine of pentacles, maybe they just don't know how to be the ten of pentacles, especially when you've been the nine of pentacles a long time. Like having someone just come into your life like that it could be very like overwhelming. It's just like, whoa, <laughs> you know, it could feel very chaotic, like everything's just up in the air. Um, but yeah, maybe this person's used to flying solo, guys. I don't know. So we have I'm so horny. I could have anybody, but I want you. So this person still wants you in a sexual way. This person fantasizes about you, I'm hearing, for some of you guys. So this person plans to make your whole body smile. So there is a lot of sexual energy here. Um, I'm maybe like sexual frustration. They want to do unspeakable things to you. So you guys have like one, two, three, four, like four sexual cards. I don't even have, I don't think I have that many. Like there's over, like, I think there's around 300 cards I have of these. And you guys like got most of the sexual ones. So we have here, is it bad that I've never made love? Oh, okay. So this kind of goes in with my theory. that I, <laughs> This kind of goes with the theory I was um kind of just saying. So maybe this person isn't really sure how to show love. Maybe this person has had to be independent or, um, you know, for most of their life. And maybe like when someone does come in, it could feel maybe more scary than, um, you know, stable, if that's making sense. But yeah, maybe this person has never, you know, been in love before. Um, they feel like they were meant to meet you though. They feel like you were definitely put into their lives for a reason. This person is healing, okay? They're working on their healing. They are dedicated towards their healing. We have I know. So I feel like this person is definitely acknowledging something, especially if you were just thinking something. Um, I feel like that could be a confirmation for you. And finally, finally we have, it looks like I'm paying attention, but really I'm mapping out your nakedness in my mind. So yeah, this person really is fantasizing about you, uh, group free, a lot of sexual energy that they have towards you. But uh, yeah, this person is healing. Uh, I hope this makes sense for you. I hope it makes sense for your situation as well. And I hope it was able to give you some sort of clarity and if not just throw this reading away <laughs> but anyways guys i'm wishing you all the best on your journeys take care of yourself bye hey group number four for those of you who chose this cutie little panda which looks like it has like an all-seeing eye on it um is it the is it the greek one right the all-seeing eye i don't know guys <laughs> but uh this is your reading okay so let's have a look at your tarot cards first how invested is this person um in this connection okay let's have a look let's see <laughs> let's have a look see okay 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 this is a bit better than the last group so okay let's see the first card we have is the queen of wands because with the last group i saw the first two cards and i was like oh my god this person is so invested but like nope <laughs> anyways so we have the queen of wands we have the eight of cups reversed we have um the page of wands upright death card reverse oh okay this person is resisting change this person wants to make a chip it's like this person wants to come towards you again like they want to see if it won't work they want to right some wrongs we have the ten of pentacles also which is awesome which makes me feel like this person is interested in um is that straight Yeah, which makes me feel like this person is um, invested in this connection. So this person loves spending time with you, is what I heard automatically. I feel like this person has so much fun with you. Um, they enjoy having, you know, having adventures with you if you have been on any adventures with this person. And honestly, this person is invested in creating long-term stability, long-term security, not only for your like for you both but also for any future possibilities that you guys share together for example buying a house um having kids 
if that's something that you want you know pets if that's something that you want but this person when this person thinks about you this person thinks about the end game like this person thinks about the end goal this person feels like you compliment them so well um but there is definitely this energy of returning <laughs> you know so if you are separated from this person then this person is coming back into your life and this person is invested in making this work <clears throat> this person loves how confident you are to them they look at you and you ooze like sex and attractiveness and this person just finds you incredibly alluring and there's there's this intensity about you and this fiery <laughs> this fieriness to you even if you don't even perceive yourself that way this person sees you and they're like oof, you know like it's just a lot of passion it's a lot of fire but this person is so curious and this person is invested in enjoying a lot of first with you like this person wants to have a lot of first times with you that's the energy that i'm feeling and if this person did walk away from you or if you walked away from this person because you know if there was disappointment i'm hearing even someone not pulling their way or it being perceived um that way or someone not making the effort i definitely feel like this person is holding on to this connection dude like with that death card being there this person is holding on like they are resisting letting go of this you know they're holding this onto this to the point of i don't want to say damaging like i don't want to say that because i don't want to put any negativity on this reading because it does seem so beautiful you know um like i feel like this person is going to contact you soon as well because we do have the page of wands like this is like a message of passion i'm hearing clarity as well but yeah this person definitely thinks of the end goal when it comes to you guys this person sees you as someone <clears throat> that they can you know share their life with someone that they can share their home with someone that they could invest with <laughs> like literally um someone that they could build generational wealth with like this person sees you and they're like yep you know like I and they just see and they just see the future that you guys have um together for some of you this person could be having trouble letting go of something that is not to do with this connection so they could be having trouble you know letting go of an old maybe an old connection or there's just something that needs to be closed out in their life but regardless of what needs to be closed out they like you're still the end game you know um, but this person has incredible amounts of passion for you. This person wants to travel with you. This person wants to be bold. This person wants to take the lead, I'm hearing. And even though we do have the page of wands there, I do feel like that's uh, more so a delivery of a good message. Uh, passion, wanting to be... I feel like this person is going to approach this situation, I'm hearing, in a different manner, you know? Like, they're going to approach it in a way that may be like, hmm, you know, like, I ain't seen this side of you before. <laughs> I don't know why I heard that, but, um, yeah, that's just what's coming to my head. This person feels extremely protective over you as well. Because can you see in this, um, in this, in both of these images, it kind of just looks like they're protecting... This one is protecting her eggs and the um, and the wand, and this one is protecting the wand. Not as not as tightly as this. Oh, they're both snakes as well. How beautiful! <laughs> so, yeah, this person does feel protective over you, but I feel like they don't want to uh, overwhelm you with how much they feel for you because it is very intense. It is very, um, like. I just want to grab you and I might <laughs> oh my god I just thought of Lenny have any of you read of my cement but I kind of just thought of you know Le Lenny who's just this lovable you know person but when he hug like holds that woman too tight like he accidentally kills her I'm not saying this person will like you know love you till they kill you but <laughs> I'm just kind of getting that intensity like that if they were if they could hug you they would hug you until you're just like oh my god I can't breathe you know so I just feel like this person has a lot of like a lot of love even though we don't have any cups cards here oh we do we have eight of cups but i don't know why i'm just not really a fan of like i don't really get all googly about the cups cards like i'm more so like get 
I'm just like, okay, now we're talking. Like, when we see, like, the pentacles and stuff, like, I'm just like, yes, you know? But <laughs> anyways, this person does see you as their teammate. Um, They feel like... I'm hearing they feel like they can invest with you. Like, not only in this connection but invest with you like separately like maybe work on something together maybe something creative even this person does see you as very creative perhaps this person is very creative also so let's see what other messages we have here because i could literally waffle on all day <laughs> but i don't want to end up like i feel like i just keep repeating myself so i'm just gonna move the hell on <laughs> so the next card we have is healing family issues interesting we have worth waiting for nice nice <laughs> i'm so sorry it's because we have that eight of cups in reverse so i'm just like and the death card so it's definitely like they're in the process of trying to release something in their life um they're trying to walk away from something that keeps kind of dragging them back for whatever reason uh but this if this person did walk away from you though they definitely want to make a return and <clears throat> and we have release your ex so that could be and we have that right above the death card so that could be uh that could be what they're um in the process of trying to release like i don't know like a marriage or uh, an ex i don't know okay but they are trying to release something from their energy that just won't fuck off it's like a leech just sucking at them just go away you know <laughs> i don't know where this is coming from honestly the last reading i was just kind of like I was I felt kind of like melancholic but this with this like reading I just have so much freaking energy it's like this person has so much passion so much love for you group for honestly like this is such awesome energy and finally we have soulmate I'm just waffling I'm so sorry um <clears throat> so yeah this person could be in the process of releasing their ex this person is hoping you would wait for them um or this could be the universe telling you like this connection is worth waiting for sis or bro you know i don't know um this could be a soulmate of yours this person definitely sees you as their soulmate uh, this person could be healing family issues as well so this kind of goes with what i was saying before it's like they're really trying to resolve something in their life but it's just like no matter what they do it's just staying the same it's like oh i don't know what to do next like i'm kind of just ah like i don't know you know so <laughs> but yeah So yeah, this person could be trying to heal uh, family issues. Uh, maybe for some of you, this person has some, what are they called? Like paternal and maternal wounds that they're trying to acknowledge, you know, from their childhood, stuff like that. <sighs> Sorry, I had to woosa there for a minute. <laughs> oh my God, guys, look what we have again. We have ending a trauma. And I swear to you, I it's like honestly if i didn't believe in tarot like i'll be like this bitch like i'll be like she literally put these cards together so i could you know so she could give a certain kind of message but yeah it's just so i don't know this person is trying to end a trauma but it's not as easy as they thought it or would or hoped it would be to release whatever they're trying to release right now but they are trying to put an end to something quite um traumatic so yeah this person could be invested in you but they're invested in getting rid of whatever the hell maybe this person mm, yeah let me let me just move on so we have make a change so this person plans on making a change um i'm hearing that kind of accommodates like both of you and your lifestyles i don't know why i'm hearing that but oh this person is trying to make a change <clears throat> <laughs> this person is going to express their true feelings and just like the um, queen of wands and just like the page of wands like this is such a vibrant energy like this person finds you to be incredibly vibrant they find you to be very um youthful but at the same time so strong and formidable oh, god this person just finds you to be very beautiful very creative someone who is constantly growing someone who shows a lot of potential 
uh, not only you know in this connection but in their own lives and their own goals you know that's how this person sees you we have celebrities so this person definitely thinks a lot of you as well so we have a lot of green so this person is definitely in love with you i feel like group three or this person definitely has a lot of love um for you um oh because my heart it just feels all warm and normally i'm like an ice cream guys like i have no feelings okay no i'm joking <laughs> But honestly, my heart is just feeling so like warm and gooey and just all like yummy and stuff, you know. So <laughs> I feel like you make this person really happy, like their heart and stuff. Um, so. So, yeah, this person could be planning on expressing their true feelings to you guys, especially if you have been separated for a little while. So this person may take an unusual approach um, towards you in the coming, I'm here, I heard coming days, but it could be weeks for some of you guys. Uh, this person sees you as unconventional, they see your connection as very unusual, as very unusual. Perhaps there are, you know, a few differences between you guys, but they love those differences, you know, they are like opposites attract in this case. Um, but yeah, they find you to be very unique, very just in a lane of your own a cut above the rest like this person has put you on a pedestal like i'm feeling i'm so surprised the six of ones ain't come out <laughs> but um yeah <laughs> this person feels like you're a part of their life purpose like they feel like they were meant you like you guys they feel like this connection was divinely orchestrated whether or not they would use that terminology but they definitely feel like you were um brought into their life for a reason and for a higher purpose you know oh okay <clears throat> now let's look at the messages we have from this person the first card is my mind is elsewhere so yeah, this person's mind could be elsewhere, it could be on, you know, finally closing out that flipping chapter, you know, um, and kind of finally being able to put the past behind them. This person felt like they had an instant connection with you. <clears throat> so we have here, I see your scars. So for some of you, this is like an acknowledgement of the shit that you have been through. Maybe you're the one that's been through a lot in your life and maybe you are unable to move on. And this person is hoping that you are able to move on so that so that you guys can unite, so that you guys can come together, you know. And we have next at this point, you're just playing yourself. So for some of you. I feel like this is going to go with the message that I was just like trying to convey. If any of you have, uh, you know, holding on to the past for whatever reason, you know, for whatever reason, dude, you know, it could be trauma, it could be healing. I don't know. Okay. But for whatever reason, this person could feel like you're doing yourself a disservice by holding on to the past. So we have talk dirty to me. So we have here, I can't escape you. I see you in my dreams. I wake up craving your touch. So this person is really wanting you guys. We have here dishonesty. So perhaps this person has been slightly dishonest or perhaps this person feels like you have been dishonest in a way. But this person does really want to talk to you though. They really, really want to talk to you. <laughs> And it's like, they are insanely sexually attracted to you guys. But it's like, um, I'll try so hard to like not turn this sexual. But I feel like they do want to talk to you. I feel like they do want to, you know, enjoy, you know, kind of more so light moments with you. They don't want things to be heavy, especially if things have been heavy between you guys. Like, this could be a message of, you know, and so if things have been tough between you and this person... It, this could be a message from the universe letting you both know that this is coming to an end very soon and that you guys will find your way back to each other at some point but there is definitely a need for someone to let the past go we have it's a problem and what's the problem is the way they feel about you this person is afraid that you don't feel the same way as they do 
and here we have it's too late to say sorry but what i heard when i saw that is is it too late to say sorry so for some of you this person i mean if like i was saying before if it is you that was pushing this person away and you that's kind of not able to let the past go in whatever respect you know this could be i'm not going to just list off like a thousand scenarios but like if you can't let their past go if you can't let your past go um and if you have pushed them away then they could be like you know no like i'm just not in a very forgiving mood right now or it could be that they are just like damn is it too late to say sorry like you know like wondering if it's too late to say sorry and <clears throat> God, I nearly choked on that one. Oh my God. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say it. Okay, something about oral sex. Like, if you have had oral sex with this person, they could enjoy it. They could miss it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I was just like, I'm not saying that shit, you know? Like, my brain was like, say it, bitch. And I was like, no, I'm not saying it. Anyways, um... And finally, we have, you have the qualities I look for in a partner. So, yeah, you're definitely ideal to this person. You definitely have the qualities they look for in someone that they do want to spend a long lifetime with, you know? <laughs> but anyways, group uh, four, I hope this reading made sense for you. And I hope it resonated for your situation. And I'm wishing you guys all the best on your journeys, okay? So take care. Bye.